We all know the big name beers, Budweiser, Miller, Coors, but craft beer makers or microbreweries are stirring up new trends across the U.S. According to the National Brewers Association, the microbrewery industry grew by 15% last year, earning $8.7 billion in sales in the process. Kristen Oaks now joins us with this week's installment of the Ag Minute. And you're going to talk to us about a microbrewery here in the Baton Rouge area, and I've got to ask you, did you have to fight Avery Davidson for this story? Well, not really, because I didn't tell him about it. That's the thing. But in Baton Rouge, we have the LSU Fighting Tigers, the Old State Capitol, our own fast food chain, and now our very own beer. Tin Roof Brewing Company harnesses local resources and farm fresh ingredients to brew up the flavor of Baton Rouge. It's hot work making a cold beer, but Charles Caldwell and William McGee say they wouldn't trade this hot tin roof for a job in any office. He didn't want to go back to the bank and I was about to start studying for the bar. We were both talking about how dreadful the thought of doing those two careers was going to be. Law school grad McGee and former banker Caldwell traded in their nightmare careers for a tin can dream, making their own craft beer in Baton Rouge. It's fun creating something, and especially if we can uh, put put these ingredients together, these raw ingredients together, and make something that we're proud of and that we enjoy and then going out to a bar and seeing somebody else ask for it. It's really surreal feeling. Two years and thousands of grain sacks later, the pair opened the doors to Baton Rouge's very own microbrewery. But their brew needed the touch of a master, so they recruited brewmaster Tom Dagerpont. I can teach you the science of brewing. I can't teach you the art. The art is something you learn, and you learn through experience, through tasting, through trying different things. McGee and Caldwell saw an opportunity to help others learn too. The brewery partnered with the LSU College of Agriculture to offer internships to students in food science. And no surprise, they had no trouble in filling the spots. Finally, when it hit 30 people, we said, that's it, that's all we can do. Internships are just one of the ways the brewery and the university feed each other. All of our spent grain goes to the uh, to dairy cows, so um, at LSU to the dairy farm, so it goes kind of, you know, and without them, we, uh, we'd have a bunch of smelly grain sitting around. And they go through a lot of grain. Each week they process six to 8,000 pounds of hops, wheat, and barley. But it's really important for us to get the highest quality ingredient because we're handcrafting something and we want it to be exceptional. To keep up with demand, the boys took their beer out from under the tin roof into the watermelon fields of Washington Parish. It started getting a little warmer and we started thinking, you know, what better than a watermelon beer? Tin Roof just released their new watermelon wheat brew made from local Louisiana watermelons. In Louisiana especially, you know, there's just a pride on all things Louisiana. I mean, we've really tried to focus on keeping it local and keeping things that I guess people around here can get excited about. And there's so much good stuff in Louisiana, and, you know, why not? So why not find out just how good Louisiana can taste? Now you can find Tin Roof Beer in more than 350 stores and restaurants across Louisiana. To find out more, just visit our website at twilatv.org.